Hello everyone, today I'm so excited to introduce to you a new series of 4K videos feature. It boasts of multitude of features and a very compact design. The control panel consists of easy to use shortcut buttons. Let's dive right into and look at this equipment. At the back, you will find four HDMI ports, Line 1 and Line 2 supporting 4K input. And this one is a HDMI output, which is PGM. Also, we have a AUX, is an external input. For video storage and recording, we have SD and USB North. And also, USB 2.0 supports the upgrading of the phone wheel. The UVC is for the streaming and the lossless output. And the LAN is for the internet. And this small pole is for the power supply. Look at here, these two small poles are for the microphone input. And the last one is for the output of the voice and monitoring of the voice. Now let me walk you through the functions and the usage of our panel buttons. At the bottom, you will notice two rows, PVW and PGM from 1 to 4. It's worth mentioning that this switcher can accommodate up to five cameras, including AUX input, which connects while USB. The AUX is a single video channel and the PAT the pattern button will bring the pattern to preview and PGN for displaying graphics or having background image on certain scenes. While well, these buttons are transition shortcuts, there are 30 different transition effects available in the operation menu. For rapid switching, you can use the order button. Yes, or T-bar. This is a feature I personally find exceptionally impressive. Now, let's look at the two lines of buttons in the upper left corner. The first line is used to operate the PVW layer, and the second line is used to operate the PGM layer. The first button on the left is used to control the switcher power. Below that, we have, we have our special effect shortcut functions. We have two logos. You can set the size and position or change the different logos. Just click the here and okay this one is for the page and you can see right here on the screen okay next one is our dsk which is downstream key for special effects and adding subtitles okay this one is for the page m2 okay the next two are pip1 and pip2 and the position and the size can be changed through operation menu right here. Most importantly, the PIP videos can be switched from different video sources. Okay, this one for the PGM layer two. Here we go. And the next one is chroma key, which is really, really crucial for our live production. Just click here and here. Okay, I'm gonna show you one by one, okay? This is a chroma function, okay? And this is cam button. It allows you to control up to four cameras simultaneously. And this is POS button. It allows you preset up to six camera positions. Okay, I'm gonna show you from one. Okay, just click here and from one, two, to six, yeah, that means you can preset six positions. And this one is our five-way joystick. It is for controlling the position of the cameras. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, and these two buttons are for the uh, zoom in and zoom out of the cameras. Okay, so let's move on to the last line of the buttons. The first one is red button. It's definitely for the recording. And the, this second one is for the streaming. And these three buttons are for the pausing and playing back and switching between different arcs videos. 
Um, yeah, in this video, we're not going through all the menus that device offers. So yeah, that's basically what we have in this video for more usage of functions. Please feel free to check our instruction or consult our technical stuff. So bye bye.